somebody else who's very excited is joining me on the phone now, Charlotte Coleman, wife, of course, of Wales's manager, Chris Coleman. Charlotte, you're at Cardiff Airport. You're on your way to Leon. How are you feeling? I am indeed. I'm feeling very, very excited, like I'm sure all the Welsh fans are and a lot of the people from Great Britain, but I'm also extremely nervous. I feel a bit sick, <laughs> but I'm really looking forward to it and I think they can do it. Do you know what? I do too. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit sort of like, I don't really want to jinx it, but I've got a really good feeling about it. Now, Charlotte, you are eight months pregnant. Your baby's due in a few weeks' time. And this is actually <laughs> the last day you were saying that you can, you can fly, that you can actually fly. This is, this yeah. is the cut-off. Tomorrow it is, because I can fly back home, which is when we all fly back home. But, yeah, right. so it's been a bit of a sort of a countdown to how, how, how far along I can go till I fly. But luckily, if they do get to the final, I can get the train to Paris. But, yeah, so I've had a lot of kicking from uh, the baby in my tummy during the games, because, obviously, I've been up and down jumping and getting really excited. And the last game... Chris texted me before saying, make sure if you have anything to celebrate, you jump slowly. And I'm like, how do you jump slowly? You can't, <laughs> can't jump slowly, Charlotte. It's, not, it's absolutely not <laughs> no. possible. <laughs> do you just have to be careful that the excitement doesn't bring on the baby? Because then you'd have to name her or him after all of the team. You don't, you don't have imagine. to do that. <laughs> that would be a very long name. But as you said, Portugal, they actually haven't won a game in normal times. So I'm hoping that still happens yeah. in uh, this competition and that Wales do. Oh, definitely. We're all 100% behind you. We, we really are. And I know you've got your little boy with you as well. And there's this daft rule that they've got that, that kids aren't going to be allowed onto the pitch tonight, which is, which is a shame because I'd love to, you know, you want to see the kids with their dads and celebrating together. Yeah, they're lovely scenes and you saw Gareth Bell's daughter Alba run on and he hadn't seen his kids for ages and like Chris hasn't seen our son Finley for five weeks I think it is oh. when we're on FaceTime he's, he's seen him and you know I think he doesn't quite understand that FaceTime isn't daddy because he keeps looking behind the phone and trying to see where he is but oh. I mean I'll, I'll take me down to the to the um, bottom just to so say you can give him a cuddle but I think they, it's advice isn't it not to do it because I think they're worried what might happen but I mean it's such lovely scenes when you see of the dads course. with all their kids and they're so well behaved all the kids because I've been with them because Billy hasn't been with us apart from the England game, but all the um, players' wives have had quite a lot of their children with them, and they have been so well behaved. So it is a shame, but oh, we'll no. see what happens. <laughs> the children are better behaved than the players. They'll be absolutely fine. Maybe, hopefully, <laughs> they'll fun. bend the rules a wee bit. Charlotte, safe travels. Thank you. Deep breaths. They're Don't get too different. excited. <laughs> but good luck. Good, good luck to you, to all of you. It's um, it's just you. fantastic. Thank you, my love. Thank you. Lovely to see you, Lorraine. Thanks very you much. You too.